So the football will be at 
the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They look to throw on first and 10 with Flacco. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Second and 10, a very chilly day here, but no snow. And I got to say, if it's going to be this cold, I want snow. <laughs> you should see Charles' face. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. It's Chris Harris with a pick, pushing his way through. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. First carry for the Clemson man, Travis Etienne. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. On second and seven, Flacco escaping the pressure right. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Flacco fakes the give, sets to throw. He's going deep for Brown. This is caught inside the 15. And he is down deep into Buffalo territory. A big hook up there. Flacco to the speedster Brown. And even 60 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Looking for two yards here on third down. Flacco. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Joe. We drop you in now to first quarter action as the offense begins this drive. First and ten, and Flacco looking to throw. Flush to his right. That is incomplete. Good to me, he was just trying to find an open receiver and got forced out to his right. Had to come off of a guy downfield, try to hit his back. Unable to connect. Should have been an easier throw moving to his right, though. Yeah, much easier, obviously, for a right handed quarterback. If he was going to his left, it would have tougher. Exactly. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. A right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers putting their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play out. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. It's a big play there for the Jets on third down. This is Ingram on first and ten. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now a first and ten at the 11. From the gun, Flacco. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Tavon Young. is down the right side. And he is going to score. It's a big six. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right? Good field position means go ahead 
ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. This will be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time. No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes defense makes a good play, too. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Flacco. This is Jeff Swain, the tight end. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 32-yard line. They fake the handoff. Now Flacco to pass. He's going to rifle one deep left side. Open man. He's got him. It's Tony. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Flacco off play action. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And the Bills are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they do. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Into the hands of his tight end, Jeff Swain. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. They're going to look to throw on fourth with Flacco. Sliding out of the pocket. Looking deep for Jennings. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Tavon Young. And the Bills are in great shape here. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they, on paper, Charles, no doubt they have the edge in this one. They are sitting with the AFC elite, and on the other side, they're down toward the bottom of the AFC. But you know what they say, especially at this point in the season, watch out for a trap game. And in doing so, I would take my game plan and condense it. I would rely on my fundamentals, the fact that my players are probably just better, and not try and do too much. Do just enough to win the game. And on the other side of the field, I'm doing everything. Every trick play I can think of, every different formation, you name it, I'm throwing it at them in order to try and get the upset win. They'll run with ETN. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. First and 10 here for Flacco. He'll buy some time right. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 30-yard line. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Rolling to his right. And he slings one that's incomplete. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, <laughs> they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks. Like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. They'll try and run with Murray. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 
I got to tell you, I'm shocked. When I realized they were running the football at fourth in that distance, I thought that was a surefire throw. And I can hear it in your voice because I'm the exact same way. No one runs the football in this situation, right? You've got to throw it to have the chance unless you're them. Talk about supreme confidence bordering on arrogance, and they got it done keeping the ball on the ground to pick up the first down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, and he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads you into bigger errors. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Operating out play action, Flacco. He's going to try and go deep again. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Flacco from the gun. Throw left side to his tight end Swain. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. ETN with it. And they'll get this down to the 10. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Passing play. Flacco. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Running out of the gun with ETN. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. Play action. Flacco taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing here on first down, Flacco. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To pass, Flacco. They'll roll him out right. He'll get this off to ETN. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And that is incomplete. I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Football 101, you've got to let the guy catch the ball. You have to know the ball is there. You have to know it's arrived. Otherwise, you're going to get flagged every time. A give. This is Camara. 
And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. 115 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first down, Flacco steps away to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And now here's another interception. Desmond King picks it. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now, last time was a pretty one play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Now throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now Flacco. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And that is caught. But the back judge right there to say incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Flacco. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now Flacco. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did.